let go, let go. I'm gonna say that the name of the island is Iskira. I'm the Mighty have fallen, relegated from captain to galley wench. Oh wow, I look like Elvis. Wow. There's no way the Falcon would have been able to do that, you know. Who wants to walk the plane first? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't crash the plane! <laughs> Welcome to our self-inflicted adventure. What seems like a lifetime ago, we left Australia, intending to sail our way around the world. It's been a roller coaster since then, and while the plan has changed many times, we've been laughing our way through and learned a new lesson for every step of the way. And between us, the real adventure has only just begun. Previously on Sailing Millennial Falcon. We may have room for you on our Amalfi Coast trip. We're now going to Italy. So we are at a Mediterranean sailing at its finest. Uh, there's, there's no wind. It's that time again. It's that time to go down a random street and get lost. Oh, she got that one. So, we're on our way back to the boat and then we are headed for Amalfi, the Amalfi Coast. We're going to a marina there for the night. We've just received a masterclass in how to dock. That seriously was the best dock I've ever seen. So we're here in the Almalfi. And I know when everyone says the Amalfi Coast, well for me at least, I kind of thought that it was like a big range of islands all on the, the island of Amalfi. This is actually the town of Amalfi. Uh, unfortunately this morning, um, John kind of spoke to us in the cockpit and said um, he doesn't like us. <laughs> he said uh, that the winds have completely dropped off. But there is a little bit of wind sporadically. So what we're going to do instead, we were planning this like massive 60 mile sail tomorrow. And now we're going to keep the, the legs kind of pretty short, try our best to sail wherever there is like the three hour wind uh, window. For now we're going to explore Amalfi, go down all the little lane ways, we've heard it's really really cute. It's got to be the first thing we've come across so far that's not completely covered in scaffolding. <laughs> Dark hole take us. This is always a good sign, right? <laughs> Left or right? Mm. Or dark, ominous alleyway? Or light and bright? Light and bright. Light and bright. So this is how he manages to get out of these little berths just a lot of pushing on other boats and I think everyone here is very friendly it's like ah it's fine if you chip my boat that's all good I don't know if I could take my actual boat here. I don't know if I could take Millie here an hour later it was our time to leave the marina and we got to watch the master docker at work again are you going to reverse that oh my god <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. Funniest home videos, here we come. One, two, three, go! Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> I did not think you were gonna let go. <laughs> but you know the objective is not to regain, you rejoin the boat. Watch now for an incorrect demonstration. Watch, Watch now for a belly flop. <laughs> hey, let go, let go! Oh. <laughs> After a quick pit stop for some morning Tarzan action, we were back on the way again. Turn the camera on and then have a coffin fit. So we've been sailing now for about half an hour. We've had some lovely scrambled eggs and pancetta along the way. And the sails have finally come out. The motor has not been on for at least an hour now and we're getting about 18 knots, which is really, really nice. I mean, you know, you go on a sailing uh, charter and you want to go sailing. So this is very, very nice. We're pretty much aiming for the island. I'm going to say that the name of the island is Ishkita, Ishkita, Ishkita. Ishkia. Anyway, the, the island is right ahead of us. I reckon that will be there in the next two hours. So we might, if this wind can just stay a little bit longer than, we, than it's forecasted to, we might be able to sail the whole way there. And apparently when you enter the port, it's like a, a really cool, it was a, it's a very old, by the Roman port entry where there's only enough room for two boats to go in and out so that would be pretty cool to see that. Adam is currently on washing up duty for 10 people's breakfasts. Just jamming yeah. out to myself while I do the dishes. You need some music on in there. How the money have fallen relegated really from captain to galley wench. <laughs> to be fair the captain did cook for us so you know. That's what our boat needs, some mouse lines going up the mast so we can stop the clanging of the bloody cables in the mast. These new boats have everything, don't they? Are you going to try and break the new speed record, Adam? Uh, I think we know it's eight or nine before then. What's the wind speed? 13 knots, we're doing six and a half, five. Oh wow, I look like Elvis. Okay, let's just, let's just ignore the fringe, shall we? There we go. <laughs> um, well, we are here. We are not in the place where I said before. We completely and utterly sailed past that. Um, we are now in a place called uh, Ventitene. So at this stage, we are heading towards a bunch of rocks and I have no idea how we're actually, apparently it's the path into the marina. Thankfully, Adam's driving and I'm not. <laughs> this looks very nerve wracking. There's no way the Falcon would have been able to do that, you know. I hang a lot of shit on these boats, but that was like parking a car. Honestly, that was really easy. Well, not really easy, but way, way, way. You're underselling yourself, Adam. You should say it's really hard. Yeah, that was nuts. Like you can turn it on a dime just with prop wash. Just Sorry? right, left, forward, back. I'm, I'm sorry. If we had a bow thruster, it would be just no issue whatsoever. Oh wow. So this is our this is our gangway plank, and we'll have to go over the bow <laughs> to get to land. <laughs> Who wants to walk the plank first? <laughs> so, I won't be going to shore. 
Excellent. Okay, that sounds good. Um, so it's what time now, guys? Four o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Good. Okay. You know where these guys hang out? Yeah, all the way down with that building. We did it! It's quite the precarious exit. We are currently in yeah, Event yeah, Planning really and just going up to explore the main town. Friendly local, how are you? It's not a mouse, don't hit my microphone. Let me tell you about the trees and the seas, how it's all connected. The flowers and the birds and bees, and all the lights that were all affected. Wild night. The wind starts to pick up to stop entering the marina instead of the marina being a break wall for it. So I got up and uh, I was looking at the lines in the night, and we were just, I reckon we were, we were being rolled around about a foot from the boats next to us. We were pretty eager to get out of the marina at this stage, so as soon as the wild weather died off, we set out to sea for what was to be the last full day of sailing. Are we ready? Yeah. Alright. We're pushing off, guys. And we're up. The wind seems to have calmed down. While we haven't seen the, uh, what the ocean looks like, we just figured that we need to go. We just need to suck it up and get out there. Yeah, <laughs> Ciao, grazie. Ciao, grazie. Where are we off to? Proshida. Oh, that's uh, very well said. <laughs> we're going out through the hot gates first. It's going to be very interesting because it's very crowded and it's lumpy today. Uh, but it should be quite nice sailing actually. It's probably the first day we've had over about 12 knots. I think it's going to be somewhere in the vicinity of 15 to 18, which is sort of first reef territory, so it'd be nice to put this thing through its paces and see if it's, uh, see if it's up to it. Be good. Should be able to really get her moving. Set the signal and then go off on port tack best we can until the people are out of breeze. The classic Mediterranean landfall technique of turning on the engine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that. Prosciutto. So we think that it sounds a little bit like prosciutto, but half the word. Prosciutto. So we're Prosciutto. almost here. We've come out to the front of the bow because uh, the engine's on, surprise, surprise. I really, really, really can't believe how much the winds change and the sea state changes in an hour in the Mediterranean. Like, this is just insane. And even John was saying earlier as well that it's unseasonably calm for September. Um, usually you get like a lot more wind and it's a little more, um, there's a little more sailing involved. So this is like our second to last night here and I'm really glad that we actually managed to get a tiny bit of sailing in this morning. So that was quite fun. But we are almost here uh, at Proshida.
morning we woke up bright and early with a final day to get as much sightseeing in as possible. We took a ferry to the nearby town of Ischia, the one which I'd mistakenly thought that we were going to the day before. The main attraction of the day was an extremely fortified little rock. On this islet stood the arrogant castle of Ischia. Initially a gift to Hero I, after a victorious battle in 474 AD, it passed through the centuries, being raided and plundered by the Visigoths, Vandals, Ostrogoths, Arabs, Suebi? People, just lots of people, and was fortified along the way in an attempt to prevent said pirates from attacking. It's been a thriving town with convents and churches, a besieged fortress, a political prison, and finally a family-owned island which was purchased in 1911 and who still look after it today. Oh, it's the last ferry back to Prosida and we have to have the boat back tonight because we are, a few of our crew have to disembark very early so that they can make their flights out of here. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the last, last evening we're all together really before tomorrow when it, the big journey back to the Falcon begins. How are you feeling yeah. about bringing it into the slip? So I've been designated to dock the boat and everybody has assured me that the boat drives really really well. Oh, it's like driving a car. So I'm a pretty bad driver so we'll see. You're fine. You got this. I got this, right? You can do I feel it. like it's girls day. You did it in the morning, I did it in the afternoon. <laughs> well I kind of volunteered you. How is the view from under the bus? <laughs> <laughs> Before anybody, including myself, would let me drive within close proximity of other expensive yachts, some practice docking was in order. And the instructions were from the master teacher himself. So the way to think about it too, Kara, is just don't overthink it. Just remember only one thing. Which way do I need to turn my wheel to get the boat going, the stern going the way I want? And it's really easy. You just think about, well, if I was going like this, I'd go that way to go yeah. that way and that way to it's go like that driving. way. It's like driving. Just like driving. So if I was completely forget about prop wash. Yes, yeah, just forget like about prop wash. Get your wheel all the way over. If you're ready, you're gonna nail it. I didn't crash the boat! <laughs> it's a celebration of the whole trip. No one crashed. Yeah, good time. Session on me is a grand finale. You did a great job. You had the hardest park of all. Of she did. Not really. really. Everybody watched. That was definitely the toughest reverse job of the week. That's yeah. not. Yeah, We've it was. had many more like that. We have. Nah, not with this much space. Not space. with this much of an audience. Yeah. We are on the road again. We're homeless for now. We've uh, left the boat, left the crew. We uh, have to catch one train. We've got a 20 minute walk, one train, one bus, two flights, and then we're back to the Falcon. We've got an overnight in Lisbon. Three flights? Why? Three flights and then we're back to the Falcon. We're overnighting in Lisbon tonight and we'll be back at the marina tomorrow morning sometime. Had a really good time. Uh, yeah. Learned a bunch. Like It's always a pleasure hanging out with the guys from John Crashman Sailing. <laughs> 